Hey guys, welcome back to All in Law. This is a medical video lecture, internal medicine. And today I'm going to talk about a very important topic that's hypothermia. Hypothermia. Okay, so hypothermia is uh, what you call uh, a very uh, emergency condition. Okay. So treating hypothermia is really very important and if you delay in a treating hypothermic patient is very dangerous and if you treat the hypothermic patient very fast it's also very dangerous okay guys so when you call the patient is hypothermic or when the patient is suffering from hypothermia if remember the core body temperature if the core body temperature is less than is below 35 degree centigrade what's the normal body temperature we have the normal body temperature we have is around what you call 37 degrees centigrade right so if it's a below 35 then it's known as a hypothermia how do you measure this core body temperature is a rectal body temperature that's a rectal probe we have a rectal probe right rectal probe right we we introduce a rectal probe um, and measure the body temperature and that indicates a core body temperature either you can uh, put a probe into the esophagus that's also an option but the most convenient is a rectal esophagus probe okay so there are two possibilities, two ways of measuring the core body temperature, either rectal or the esophageal, okay? And if you want to say that the patient is what you call severe core body, uh, severe hypothermia, then it should be less than 30 degree centigrade. So if it's less than 30, 30 degree centigrade, then you call it as a severe hypothermia. So let's talk about the etiology. What are the most common causes for this, what you call... Uh, uh, hypothermia remember it's seen especially in elder males okay elderly patients or male or female elderly patients with a history of what you call a thing of alcohol intoxication alcohol intoxication okay so alcohol intoxication so now the clinical features when there's a hypothermia, the most common cause of death in these patients is due to the involvement of the heart, the conduction system of the heart, known as arrhythmias. So they die because of arrhythmias. Arrhythmias. So when there is a severe hypothermia, so the most of the symptoms and the signal symptoms the patient will have is either lethargy, of course the body temperature will be low, lethargy, confusion, confusion and weakness. Okay, right? That's good. So let's talk about the diagnosis. How do you diagnose? To diagnose a disease of hypothermia, either the core body temperature is really very important, core body temperature measurement, either by the rectal probe or by what you call esophageal probe. Okay? And you have to take the very important because the cause of the death, as I said, arrhythmias, so you have to take the EKG. What the EKG shows, EKG usually shows at the time of death is Osborne Osborne waves or J waves or the J waves okay these are two important points and the patient can develop severe arrhythmias that's the VFAB can I have ventricular fibrillation, VTAC, that's 
ventricular tachycardia. And the most characteristic finding is an elevation of a J point known as the Osborne waves, as I said. Okay. And they can mimic as if the patient is having ST segment elevation. Okay, guys. Right? So this is about the hypothermia. Let's talk about the treatment. The treatment. Most of the patients, okay, they respond very well to the, what you call, if you give warm bed or covering with them what you call the heating blankets. Heating blankets. In severe cases, you can give intravenous, that's an IV, warmed, warmed humidified oxygen, sorry, humidified intravenous warmed fluids or humidified oxygen, humidified oxygen warmed, okay? So this can help also, right? And the other important thing that if once the patient has developed the arrhythmias, you have to take care of the arrhythmias very well. When the life-threatening arrhythmias take place, it is important to continue resuscitation efforts until the body temperature raises above 35 degrees centigrade. Okay? So this is a brief information, a very important information about the hypothermia. How do you diagnose that? What are the clinical features? What are the diagnostic tests? And what are the diagnostic feature, test features you see? And what, how do you treat it? Okay, guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.